don't mean to sound self-sabotaging and ungrateful or anything. I do appreciate you coming, but I'm... Sometimes I'm just like, what am I... It's just another white middle-class guy talking about how hard it is being fine. <laughs> okay, well, no, this time I'll do more with it and I'll get beyond this kind of solipsistic self-obsession and I'll uh, tackle serious themes. I'll tackle climate change and economic inequality. Great, how are you going to do it? I'm going to mention them. <laughs> and I do, uh, and I try, and as soon as I say anything, I feel like it's immediately buried under strata and strata of geological cliché. And then... I really think about it. I guess I, I don't care about anybody except myself. Some people, a lot of people do. They just unthinkingly go and help other people every day. And I, I, I try. Like, I'll watch the news and try to inform myself about important affairs and human suffering. But I don't feel and I can take it in, like informationally. But I never feel anything when I'm... Like, I'll be looking at a picture of a dead polar bear, you know printed it off to make it more resonant. <laughs> Come on, feel. This, you should feel bad at this, I think. Come on. It's a perfect embodiment of a big abstract problem and he's a big, beautiful white beast and now he's all dead and dirty because of man's greed. He, this matters. Come on, feel sad. Get another one, picture of a kid mutilated in Syria. This is the one. <laughs> this is the money shot. Come on, this'll get you. Come on. Feel something, he's real, he's a boy. This is the height of modern tragedy. He's a boy, you know, like you once were. He's not an actor. Feel something, you fucker. Come on! Fast! I'm just gonna watch all of Mad Men again, I think. 